Good morning, friends. It is really morning here. I didn't take a shower yet, nothing. I got the whole bed head going on. I'm tired. I slept good, but whew. Anyway, today we are going to conquer a pork shoulder. Pork picnic shoulder. We're going to do this in a Spanish vibe going on with it. And I believe... I believe in the, the Spanish Latin community, they call this pernil. I'm not saying it right. I'm not saying it with the, with the Spanish accent. My husband would make fun of me. It's like, it's not pernil, it's pernil, or however he pronounces it. But that's, hence, that's me jumping out of bed to hurry up. I have to quick go get this in the oven. Because this is something that you have to put in the oven, and you have to let it go, and it has to cook all day long slow all day long it's gonna fall apart it's gonna be amazing y'all are gonna love it and you must make beans and rice with it now I know us as weight loss patients we don't do rice I will do the Hanover Spanish riced cauliflower for myself I will show you a picture of that later and I will make black beans and white rice for everybody here in the family which I'll show you guys later how to make the black beans also, because that's another super addition. You must, no, I gotta turn that light off so y'all can see what's going on. But pork shoulder, you start with the picnic. This one is eight pounds. I'm up, like I said, without taking a shower and everything. You'll see me in the video further along today where I actually take the shower. But this has to get in the oven early in the morning, so I'm hurrying up. You can hear in the background my coffee. I didn't even make the coffee yet, which that's gonna be my next step. Coffee. Coffee and the pork shoulder. As I showed you guys before, this is what I use for my coffee. I use, and it's, it's steaming. It's, my espresso is almost done. For me, it makes it the strongest. I, I love it. My mother-in-law did buy me. I have the very expensive espresso machine that my husband loves. I use that periodically during the day to make the little cafecitos, the little tiny coffees that I will mix later this afternoon with the oats shake. But for now, in the morning, I love this one. I fill that, fill my Yeti, basically, basically it's a half a Yeti cup full. Okay, my pernil just turned into my, my morning Oh, my morning cookies and cream shake. See, that brings me alive. Put almost the whole entire shake in there. And it takes it right up to the rim so I can spill coffee all over the place. Oh, and there's nothing like that first. There's nothing like that first taste early in the morning. All right, so let's get this going. Doesn't take long. You just basically cut that bag out. The pernil is covered in the skin. It, it's the, the pork roast, and it has that, that thick layer of skin on the one side. Not so much on that side. So we're gonna put this, I have a silver, fox, silver foil lined nine by 13 baking dish. I fill it really, really well with silver foil crisscrossing it both ways because you're going to wrap this up really tight once we prep this and get it ready. So you have that in there. I like to use tons of granulated garlic. I need my Goya olive oil, your Goya Sasson packets. And if you're doing this, you might want to put gloves on because it's going to turn your hands orange. And your Goya adobo. So, what I like to do is I start with my adobo. You are not going to be scarce when doing this. If you want flavor in your pernil or pork shoulder, whatever, pork, pulled pork or however you're going to make it, you're going to put tons of this on. This is like an all-purpose Spanish seasoning. I'm going to just show you down here so y'all see what I'm doing. Like, you are not going to be cheap about this at all. You're going to put it all over the rice. Then, 
you're going to flip it over because we want on both sides. Do not be cheap. It is not going to be salty when you get done. That's what y'all are thinking. Oh my God, it's going to be so salty when it's done. It is not. I mark my word. It's not going to be. Then I put some garlic. Yeah, not garlic. Then I put olive oil. Olive oil on top of that original seasoning. Sometimes I do the seasoning the night before and let it really, really sit. But today we didn't really have time, so. Okay, and I'm missing my towel. All right, then I also have fresh garlic. I, I get the, the jumbo big elephant garlic that I really love. You're gonna do the same thing with your garlic salt. You are gonna put tons and tons of it on there. Do not be afraid, friends. It's, it's not going to, I know you're all like, oh my God, that's so much. That's why your food has no taste because you're not, this is not garlic salt. This is garlic, granulated garlic, no garlic salt. We're gonna put that on there. Then, then I take a knife. Normally, and you can put slits in this meat. You can stick your knife down in there, and you could cut little tiny pockets in there, and then you, well, you clean it. I didn't clean it ahead of time. But you clean your garlic, and you take your little garlic pieces, and you stuff them down into the holes into the meat. And this is going to give you superb garlic flavor. You can do that as many times as you want around the, chop up your garlic and stick those pieces down in there. Then when you're done with that, then you're gonna take your Goya Sasson packets. For an eight pound roast like this, me personally, I will use probably, probably about four or five packets. And again, you just sprinkle it liberally onto the meat. Basically just dry rubbing everything. Dry rub all of that. Same thing, flip it over. Get some more packets. Sprinkle that on really, really good. Now, you're gonna start out, when you put this in here, Make sure you have everything on that you want. Then, you're going to take about a half a cup of water. You're going to put the skin side, the skin side down in the, in the foil, in the pan. And you're gonna put about a half a cup of water. You don't need much water because as this pork slow cooks down, all that fat on the skin is going to accumulate into the bottom. So you're gonna have liquid in there, which is why I double that silver foil. Then you're gonna basically bring it up. If you wanna put a little more seasoning, that's up to you. And then you're going to close this foil up. Again, the skin side is going to be down for now. It's about, what is it, eight o'clock now? About 9, 10, about 11, 30, 12 o'clock, we're gonna open this foil up and we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna remove some of the juice, flip it over, and then we're gonna let it slow cook all afternoon with the skin side up, which is going to make the famous chicharrones that all of you love, that my husband and my kids and everybody fights over. If y'all don't know what chicharrones is, it's basically the pork skin and you slow cook that all afternoon out in the open without the covering, and you get that crispy, crunchy pork skin, and it's it's amazing. It really is to die for. All right, so we're gonna close that all up really good so that it's sealed basically just like that. And we're gonna pop this in a 400 degree oven for about the first half an hour, and then we're gonna turn it down all the way down to maybe like 275, 300, and we're gonna leave it all day. 275 all day long. And if I only had like smell a vision for you guys to like smell what I'm cooking, by around two o'clock, you could smell it all the way out at the road. Like it smells 
amazing. And you guys will absolutely love it. But now I'm going to go and I'm going to enjoy my coffee. And I will be back around, eh, I'll be back around probably like 12 to show you guys how to flip it and what that skin's going to look like and where we're going with the whole thing. Maybe then we'll put together the black beans because that's another thing that's going to cook slowly all afternoon. Not hard to put it together. You put it together, you put it in the oven, you forget about it. And later your family is like, oh my God, they think that you cooked all day long for them. Have a super Friday, guys. I'll see you around 12.